What's up guys, it is Nerf Guns for Life here today, and uh, I was just watching some of Coop's videos over there on my laptop, and uh, made me want to, I was watching his Longshot CS6 mod review, and he did it to this gun, and no you guys, this is not a mod video, I'm sorry, but I'm just doing a review of the Zombie Strike series, like just a few of the Zombie Strike guns that I have, the only ones. Uh, I should be getting another one this Christmas, though. Actually, a few. So, uh, I think it was called the Sledge Fire or the Hammer Shot. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but it was like a shotgun, and you hold it like this, and then... I don't know. Now, if, if your gun makes a kind of sound, then, yeah, you better go get it to a Nerf doctor. But, uh, here we go with this gun. It has a drop clip means if I just pull this button, yeah, the clip just drops on out. So right here I have a six dart clip. It comes with a 12 dart, but I'm using six darts for um, limiting down the space. That then we don't have to worry about if it's taking up too much space. This gun has a stock in the storage, like the back right here. See the back right here. So you can hold a magazine there, and I will show you that in a second. Um, it can also, uh, of course, what it does is it also holds its magazines right here for the cham in the chamber. So, nope. I almost, yeah, I jammed the gun already. Bullet fell in a place it shouldn't have fell, like went in. So, this blaster does not jam easily. If you can see in there, there's a jam door. You just shut that, and you're ready to shoot it pretty much. And it's a sweet blaster. Um, I love it a lot. It's my favorite blaster that I have, and its shooting is really good actually. Um, I haven't really, like, it's about an average Nerf gun. I mean, if you shoot it, you'd be like, okay, this gun sucks, but at the same time, it's a good gun in case you're just really wanting a Nerf war and you don't know what to choose. Go for this. It's a lightweight. It's got double clip storage or magazine storage. Priming is very simple and easy access. It's very comfortable. You just have to find the right grip. I choose right here, right around this little bar right here. Kind of hold it right there. Little kids, you might want to hold it like up here. Um, some older guys, might, like older people, might just want to kind of be weird like that. So, but, and if you just want to be kind of cool, be like sniper look, then you just want to be like this. Plus, you can shoot. Sorry, something popped up on my phone. So you can shoot, prime, and shoot again which is really cool. Just grab these two parts back. Then like I said, you got your drop clip, which is just like that. Loading darts is quite simple. I just push down the orange tip right there and I push through the dart. So that's pretty cool. Also a little trick that I've learned in case you're scared of like worried about your darts popping up. Here's a little trick on how to prevent that. You just take the dart down and pull it over a little bit. It's kind of hard to see, but as you can see, it's pulled to the side over that way. So that then it won't pop up and the gun will still shoot this dart. You just load it back up. See that? I think this will work. Yeah, and it primes right back. So it's pretty sweet. I'll do a firing in just a second of the gun and uh, Let's move on to the Duminator since it's ready. So here we have your Duminator. It's a really sweet blaster. Here's your two little holes that you just put your fingers through. Don't make that wrong. And then you just flip it. You just pull that little thing. Look, all I'm doing is just pulling that. Look. Okay, here are my hands. Okay, here are my hands. Here are 
Okay, so that's how that works. Also, this thing can this grip here can be unscrewed or screwed back in. You just gotta screw it off, and then you could put it on the bottom. I don't like it on the bottom that much. It just doesn't feel too sturdy. I mean, it feels really sturdy, but I don't know. This is more like a hip fire mode. You're holding it right here, so you're just like. Peace. <laughs> uh, I don't know. But this gun does shoot very well. Like a bowis. And then also, you're just going to reload your darts. So here's the little clip that I shot, right? Just pull down and reload. So, you just load up this dart here. Actually, yeah, I think that'll be good. So, um, it has one tactical rail on the top, no stock attachment places, and no front barrel attachment places either. But, honestly, I keep it on this side. So that, the, like, the lefties hit, the left, people that are left-handed, um, this would be for them, um, for their hip fire, but... It's not my hip fire. It's my stealth extra room to make sure that it's gonna be good. And next we we're gonna have the rough cut. Now I do not have any darts in here right now, so let me go load that up. Put back. I got eight elite darts in here. So it shoots really well. You just pull the trigger halfway, shoot one dart, so halfway, one dart, half, the other half, put the other dart. Now, the gun is very useful if you're like in an indoor nerf war, that's when I use this because it's very stealth-like um, and it's pretty quiet after it's cocked and ready. Cocking is very loud, so you have to do it really quick. But other than that, it's a great gun. It's got one tactical rail. And uh, here are the places to hold bullets. Now, my recommendation is that you don't hold the gun down like this when you're turning corners. Because then, darts can pop out a little bit. Sometimes all the way. See? So, now it's time for what you guys probably have been waiting for for a while now is the shooting test let's get that started so let me just readjust the camera here we are we have all my nerf guns just right here and oh crap okay so i have a candy cane with us today too oh that skill all right whatever also, we have a little Nerf sword. I'll be doing some epic montage. What a fail. Okay. So first, we will be shooting our... Um, what is this? Rough Cut 2x4. So, I'm just going to have it kind of visible to the screen so that you guys can see. does have slam fire which I did for the last two um, now it's time for this we're gonna do shit uh, completely ignore that we're going to shoot six starts out of here and so let's see that okay this is done now this thing holds 24 darts so you guys should know I'm not going to be shooting all 24 darts. I will shoot 6 darts for you guys though. Okay? I'm sorry if you guys are mad at me for not shooting all darts. But at the same time, I'm not going to do that. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? So that's the performance of that gun. Pretty awesome. So it's going to take me a minute to go grab all these darts again, so I'll be right back. 
So I want to say I didn't grab all of them, but I did. So I'm just going to take all my darts and put them on my bed. So you saw the testing, firing, shotting, whatever you want to call it, even though that shotting isn't a word. And uh, let's do some sword montage. Be right back. Okay, enough of that. Hope you guys enjoyed. I don't even know what I'm doing, so don't judge. Uh, so that'll be it. So, like, subscribe, comment, post, I'm going to DCB, Snurf Gunner, Video Gamer, or Video ga I don't even know. Just subscribe to my channel, please. And hopefully there won't be any more of this. So, see you guys later. Bye.